On Perpetual Guardian Money Matters today, we are talking about the relationship that farmers have with their banks and finance companies. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, Mel. Now, why is it important that they have a good relationship? Well, uh, farms are a business, and so it's a very important part of how they run their money and how they run their cash flow. And farmers are really busy people, and so they often find time find it difficult to find time to do budgets, and so they have to be quite disciplined about that. Oh, I can sure imagine they, that yeah. could be quite interesting. So you got some advice from federated farmers about it. Let's take a look. The financial climate's actually pretty tough, not only for dairy farmers, but uh, red meat and wool has been pretty up and down. It's probably been especially tough for dairy farmers because we had quite a buoyant period of very good dairy prices, but for the last three years, it's been very low for dairy, um, and it isn't, isn't looking like they're gonna recover quickly. The banks and finance companies have actually been quite good so far dealing with farmers. They, they realize that it's quite difficult and they've been, been accommodating. The really important thing is actually communicating with your bank and keeping open lines of communication so that if you've got a small problem coming up, they know about it so that small problems actually don't then turn into big problems. The other thing that's quite helpful is actually having an up-to-date budget and reviewing that regularly with the banks. They just like to be kept informed so they, they don't like surprises. <laughs> In Federated Farmers' latest banking survey, People are generally pretty happy. Uh, the group that probably started being less happy with their banking situation was the share milkers. And that's probably understandable given that they've got equity that moves up and down quite rapidly and the price of a cow has dropped quite dramatically, so they're, they're in a tough spot. Uh, on the positive side, interest rates still seem to be creeping down. Um, also, we're, we're seeing a slight uptick in people that feel there's, there's a bit of undue pressure from the banks, uh, but that's off of a very low base, so it, it's not, not a widespread problem. Um, the quality of communication is another thing that we're seeing a slight slip in. Um, I think as the prolonged period goes on, possibly people are, are sort of keep dropping the ball a bit and not keeping the communication up, but it's a two-way street, so the bank should be communicating with you, but it's always your opportunity to communicate with the bank as well, just to keep them appraised of what's going on. If you're not happy with how your bank's going, it's actually quite a competitive market, so you should always feel free to shop around. So you can go out if you've got a, more debt coming up or you want a different arrangement, go out and then shop at other banks. There are people that can help you with that, so your accountants, they might well be able to help you and actually sit with you through a meeting with the bank or at least give you an idea of questions to ask. If you don't think the relationship is going well, one place you can go to is the banking ombudsman. They can give you some help, and that's probably more of a, a last-ditch thing. If you've had, had some conversations and they haven't gone well, that is an opportunity. Okay, that was some great advice there. Keeping the lines of communication open is so important. And of course, planning for the future is always helpful, isn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, well, as a trustee for many farms, we see a lot of, um, we do a lot of work with farmers around their succession planning. Um, and we go with them to their banks and we can help them with any of that sort of process. And we try and keep them communicating. What is the succession planning? Is it generally through the family? Or? So, well, sometimes it's through families, but a lot of uh, farms are now quite big uh, corporations, really, um, and so the families all have quite complex shareholdings. So um, each farm is different and each family's plan is different. So um, a trust is the way that we handle a lot of that because if you have just a will, then it's quite prescribed as to what you can do, and not everybody in the family wants to continue farming. So Not necessarily. You may, yeah. Yeah, you, you may want to go off and be a hairdresser and not be a farmer. Fair exactly. enough too. Exactly. And we love our partnership with Federated Farmers. It's really important for us and really important the way we, we all work together. They do some amazing research and some really good work for the uh, farming community. Excellent. Well, great stuff. Thank you so much, Charlotte. And we'll see you next time on Perpetual Guardian Money Matters.